Goodbye. Thank God you're here. Welcome. <laughs> you did not do what I thought you were going to do. What do you mean? I thought you were going to play the whole thank God you're here. Yeah, thing. I did. Oh. I started my skit with welcome and you're meant to that's, come back with that's something. That's literally the worst way to do it. But anyway, welcome back to Use Your Manners. I'm your host, Leah. This is... Jeff. Jeff. Um, <laughs> we are back. We've got an interesting one today. Um, but it's going to be it's gonna be great. Yeah. I don't know why this is a, actually no. It's actually good, a good topic. We're talking about it's breast reductions, but let's go into highs and lows because I feel like we've had a we've had a fuckery of a week. Let me just tell you that I'm just going to put it out there. And was, excuse my French, but it's been the worst. But let's go highs and lows. Yeah, you want me to start? Yeah. My high would be this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I do quite like the podcast, so <laughs> it's not like it's a low high. Um, and my low would be, yeah, Monday night, Tuesday night, whenever you went to hospital. Yeah. That, was, that was a rough time. That was just, that wasn't lit at all. That was just That was wet. just a wild. That was just shit. Um, 48 hours. Yeah. My high would be, would be the podcast pretty much has been the, probably the funnest fry, yeah. <laughs> fry yay. But <laughs> my new car, mm. we froth it. It's so good. Big boy. Big boy. Big seven-seater boy. That's what I need. And I need seven children to fill all the seats. But anyway, that's another conversation. <laughs> my lot, yeah, my low was my my hospital visit, which I think we can go into, instead of a funny story, we can just literally I talk about s- what the yeah. fuck that was. I was going to say that. It was just a mental, like, I don't even know what happened. It, so maybe if I ask you the question, yeah, what happened? Oh, like, just- and, and what day? Start from the start. Okay, do you know what? Friday when we were here last, I had like a tiny bit of a headache and I was like, it's fine. It's just like annoying me because I thought I, because I took my makeup off. Mm -hmm. uh, Sorry, I took my glasses off to put some makeup on. And when I do that, if I take it off for too long, I'm like, it starts to like hurt me or whatever. Like my eyes start to strain, I start to get a headache. So then it was fine. It was fine all all day. Like it it was just, it was just there, but not annoying. But I took a few few panels, it was fine. And then that night, it kind of like got a little bit worse took a few new friends, went to bed. It was okay. The next day, it kind of was just like niggling at me. And then like Monday morning, I couldn't get out. I could barely get out of bed, but like I, mm. you know, have a child. So had to like hop out of bed. Went into the, did I get have a shower? I actually literally don't even know what happened. I don't think you had a My shower. My head was hurting so much. I felt like I was getting put in a microwave, but got Gigi ready, dropped her off at daycare, went to work and like we were, we walked to coffee as we do. We walked to Tom and I'm so sorry, Tom, if you're listening to this, I just walked straight away from him. Like I was like, can't, can't talk, go by. Went to coffee and I said to Mitch, I'm going to vomit. I need to go. I'm going to walk back because I don't want to vomit in front of all these people and especially <laughs> not in front of Tom because he's going to go, what the fuck? <laughs> Get your shit away from me. And then he'll start telling me I've got, what did he say? I've got too much 5G. Yeah, in too my, much yeah. 5G in the room. Fucking hell. So that, <laughs> that was his reason why I was vomiting. So I walked straight back to the warehouse and then because we only had one car and you needed the car in the afternoon, I took an Uber home because I was like, I, I need to go home right now. I'm going to vomit everywhere. So I went straight home in bed and I felt like literally you put the power setting on a microwave and just put me in it and closed the door and pressed start. It was like my head was going to explode out of my freaking skull. And I said to mum, I started vomiting and I started gagging so much because I was like vomiting so much. And I vomited on the freaking carpet in our bedroom and it is so stained. There's like, it's it's literally probably, you know, I have a lot of vomit stories and I don't like it. <laughs> it's really, it's becoming a, a re- like a recurring thing and it's it not is. good. But went, I had like, literally was so limp that I went, to, <laughs> I went to Calvary, met Mitch there and they put me on a drip. They put me on like all this like anti-nausea, anti-whatever. That made me feel sicker, the anti-nausea, whatever the first one was. Mm-hmm. I kept vomiting. I was yelling out to the lady like, please give me anti-nausea. <laughs> the poor thing. We're like, okay. And then ended up sleeping 20 hours. Like I was out mm. cold. And every time I opened my eyes, Mitch would be sitting there. I'm like, go home. And he was like, shut up. Like go back to sleep. I'm like, okay. And I just go back to sleep. And I was like out of it. Yeah. And then from... I don't even know what day that was. Monday? That was Monday. Tuesday. You stayed the night in hospital Monday yeah. night? Yeah. And then Tuesday, I woke, I was okay. My head still hurt, but it was way better. And then like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I was just daisy. Like mm. today's probably the first day that I've woken up being like, yep, yep. can but do. Tuesday morning, I picked you up at 9am from hospital after daycare drop off and then you came home and then you literally slept the whole day again Yeah. in bed. Gigi got home whatever time and then you were okay for a little bit. Yeah, I just had to be And like, then Wednesday, yeah. Thursday, you're a little bit better, but still not. And then today's crazy. been the, I don't been know the best what day. it was. It was like migraine or co- I don't know. I didn't have a cold because I didn't feel like I had like a cough. It mm. was just insane. So anyway, that was a 
fuck could have been a virus. I don't know what it was. Some day case shit, I'm sure. But fry yay. Fry yay. And I feel great. So Yeah, baby. It's a, <laughs> it's a happy day. But I, do you know how good it feels to get put on a drip? I would just, I wish I could have one of them in my house. I might, I'll be like, yeah, yeah, when I'm 80 years old, just <laughs> <laughs> call in the ambulance just so that they can give me a drip. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be perfect. Um, that's yeah. Well, that's my that's my low, but that's my also my story. Yeah, that's I love that. I, I just, I that's a good one. I didn't, but so it's been a hectic week to mm, say the least. Yeah, it's just been shit, and works not that work's been shit, but I've been so fuzzy that like, you've been talking to me it's about been stuff. Hard. I'm like, yeah, I actually can't function. Yeah, so that's been annoying. Maybe you just needed to rest. Maybe, but rest is all the week. <laughs> that you're not wrong. Yeah, I am really weak. That's why it's like twenty hours. <laughs> I need to sleep <laughs> for at least three days. <laughs> Weekend oh, that's is going to be my bitch. Um, so today we're going to talk about breast reduction. Yep. And it's actually it's actually the funniest thing because it's come up. I don't know if my YouTube videos that I've done over time have gone on like an explore page or something, but I have gotten so many comments recently mm-hmm. in, the, in the last like week or like week and a half of like just people asking random questions about it. And it's like, I don't know why it's popped up again, but like here it is. Yep. So... I'm pumped about it because it's probably one of my favorite things in the whole world and I would do it again and again and again and again. But I thought we'd talk about it. I think we should. Yeah. So have you had a breast reduction? Uh, uh, no, not me. No, yeah. <laughs> not me. I have nothing to say. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, that's it for you guys. No. Um, yes, I have actually. I, I did. Really? I did. When? How many years ago was it? Two? Three. Two. 2021. Hmm. Was it January? January, some so two and a half. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I and did. So you had you have had one. Yep. Uh, I'll be interviewing you. Thanks. Thanks. All right. All right. Yeah. So if you could just keep <laughs> the music coming from your mouth oh, limited. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can do me to shut your trap. I'm perfect. <laughs> I'm in charge now. <laughs> I'm the captain now. All right, um, captain. No. Okay. So you've obviously had one. Yep. Run us through why you wanted to have one, firstly. I actually, the, the funny thing is, I, I like, I can't 100% remember, but obviously, tits were huge. So I was naked with me in the room. <laughs> Rachel, I can say in front of a fuck. Like, it was awful. Yeah. But I didn't, like, I couldn't go to the gym properly. They, my back was just fucked because of them. I'm being a sailor today. Sorry, I need to, I need to tone that down. <laughs> I my back was so bad and I thought that it might relieve pressure. I didn't think it would fix my back, but yeah. I thought it might like relieve pressure because my like I look like a banana. Your posture was like, quite bad. Yeah, yeah. still yeah. really bad. But um, <laughs> you could sit up things. Yeah. That'd be great. <laughs> if I could actually <laughs> not sit like a banana. Um yeah, I just did like I just thought just let's just try something. Mm-hmm. But the thing is I went into the appointment and was like didn't really understand it, nor did I yeah. know about it, nor did I really I just kind of wanted to talk to him about thinking about doing it. And I was young. 20, no, not really I was young. Well. <laughs> I was young. I need my mum. You were younger. <laughs> Mummy. Um, so I was, I felt like I didn't understand. I felt like it, that was a big thing to do. Like yeah. without like. Big girl thing. Yeah, big girl thing. So I just walked in to the appointment and then three weeks later had it, actually had it done. So Okay. Yep. I do I remember I really that. wasn't like. Yeah, it was quite fast. Yeah. Like I didn't do okay. much research, which is outrageous for a massive surgery. But. So. You kind of really quickly skimmed over it. What was the process? So you've decided, yep, I want to get one. From yeah. that decision, yeah. run us through the process of what happened next. I think like it, it, like I said, like literally within three weeks. So I went there and I was like, you know, I don't like this. I don't like this. And he was just like, he basically looked at me and was like, yeah, you're absolutely a candidate because mm-hmm. I had all those back issues. Mm-hmm. I had, um, I didn't want to, because I'm pretty sure it's, and I wouldn't know because I didn't pay for it out of Medicare. Um, but... I got it, I paid $1,500, which was like a little speck compared to what it's what you pay yeah. without um, it being medically necessary, like because yeah. I got deemed medically necessary. So I had, all I had to do was like get a doctor's letter, which mm-hmm. is 100% truthful because they could, I mean, I could just pull out my physio records or like my yeah. whatever. So what we did is I pretended I was a doctor. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Mitch, <laughs> write this letter. <laughs> so I literally, yeah, my doctor, I went to her and as soon as I said, I, I, was, I was crying. I was like, I want to get a breast reduction, but I don't know. Like, you know, it's very expensive, blah, blah. And she was just like, oh. Let's write you a letter. Absolutely. Like she was so all for it. She was like, I've never mm. in my like 32 years of being a doctor have ever, has ever met someone that's regretted it afterwards. And I was like, yep. okay, like, that's awesome. no worries. I just, I just didn't even, it sounds really bad, but I didn't really think about it. Mm-hmm. I just 
because when when I went to go in, I remember being like, hey, like, I want to book an appointment. He goes, yep, cool, no worries. We can get you in this Friday. And I was like, beg your fucking pardon, it's Tuesday. Like, <laughs> I was like, uh, uh, no, um, maybe, yeah. And I reckon I booked it and then called and was like, no, like, I think I need another. And I then the next did. appointment was, because yeah. I was like, I can't do it the same week. That's insane. I think you did. So yeah. then I gave them, they gave me then like three weeks time. And I was like, yeah, sure, we'll just book that in. Yeah. And then I had like, I, in my own head, I was like, I have that time to think mm-hmm. about it. Mm-hmm. And then I can just cancel last minute, but I didn't. I was fucking too lit. You're a hero. I'm a hero. Okay, so you had the surgery. What happened after that? Like, what was the recovery like? Mm. I was out cold. (laughs) (laughs) I actually think the recovery was not that bad. Yeah. But I was a bit silly. I was a bit stupid. Yeah. Because the first week, the first week you really can't do a lot because you're like pretty hefty because they give you pretty hefty you know, you're going under, so it's pretty, and it's a long surgery as well. Mm-hmm. So you're pretty dazed for like three days yeah. in hospital because I think mm-hmm. I stayed two days or three days, I can't remember. And then a couple of days at home, you're just kind of like doing literally nothing. And then mm-hmm. after a week, I was completely off the pain medication or whatever they, yeah. get, they give you. And then I was like, I can do everything. Like it's fine. Like I felt fine. I felt like I was like easy. So I started, remember how I washed the dishes? Was I was at the warehouse and I was washing dishes? Yeah, yeah. I felt fine. I reckon I was on week two. And I started washing ditch- dishes and then like, I just felt like a little like spark, like right underneath, like where the scar is. And I was like, oh, I wonder what that is. And then, like, I looked uh, under my top and I had this blood spot and I was like, mm, it's not nice. I was like, I don't mm. love that, but mm-hmm. well, it's fine. I'm sure it was just something. And then it, the blood squat, spot got like a little bigger. So then I went back to him and he was like, he pulled off my tapes and he was like so frustrated because I had popped the stitch that was like in mm. the, if you think of an anchor, it's basically the, in the anchor, like the mm. middle bit of the anchor, right at the bottom. That stitch like popped open. So basically popped open and had an open wound for like, was it like four weeks? Four extra weeks? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So I had to like dress it every day. I had to like put betadine in it. I had to like pack it. It was just so annoying. So like, and and now my scar goes like anchor with like a little like you can... You, you quite, can't barely see it, but yeah. you can just see it. You broke the straw. I broke, I from broke the it. Back. Yep. I yep. popped it. But that that set me back. Okay. So that was week two. Yeah. How long is the standard recovery? Six weeks. But I of, did six plus the four because of the wound. Yeah. So six weeks of what? Like doing nothing? Minimal? Well, I'd say like the first two weeks is literally nothing. Yeah. Three weeks, like you can kind of do a bit here and there. And then yeah. like four to six weeks, I'd say you can go like light walking. Like you can go for a walk and whatever without feeling like you're, yeah. I don't know. But you, there's definitely no gym in that time. I don't yeah. think. Well, for me anyway, there wasn't. Yeah. Only not only because of like jumping or whatever, but like sweating and like mm-hmm. just being sore. Mm-hmm. I didn't like any of that. But then I think after the six weeks, I was like pretty good. But then after like the six month mark, mm-hmm. you're like absolute set. Yeah. Cool. Okay. And would you do it again? Fucking oath. I would do it tomorrow. Hundred <laughs> percent. Like if he was like, oh, oh this afternoon. Like, if he was like, do you want to come in? I'd be like, oh, or, yeah. Or Friday. Yeah. yeah I'll do it. Today's Friday. It, I would 100% well, do today's it. Today's Monday, technically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where we go out. You know, I would do all day. Yeah, yeah, people at home, Monday. If he literally was like, yeah, you can come Monday morning, 7am, yeah. I'd be like, yeah, absolutely. And be at his door at 6.30, just waiting. Okay. And That's the best thing. Weights taken out? Or amount? Yeah, I reckon... Because that's a very interesting question. I can't, I, I'm going to like round about... I reckon there was about seven to 800 grams each boob that I got mm. taken out. I reckon it was 1.6, 1.5 something. I think that's... Yeah, Is that right? right? I, I think cannot it was not remember 5. for the life of me, but I was like, fuck. It doesn't seem like a lot. That's a lot. A, that's a lot. Just tissue. Or that's just, a lot. Just nothingness. It's so gross. And we, <laughs> we always make this joke. And Nick, I'm so sorry. <laughs> we always make this joke that... Um, <laughs> my nipples were on ice. <laughs> they 100% were. That's not a joke. That's probably a thing. Because <laughs> we always wondered how they did it. <laughs> and What do you think the anchor is? Well, yeah, that's what I mean. Because there's a scar around, like you scar around your nipple and then it goes down and then it goes underneath. 100%. And like it basically sits in there. So I was like... Take your nipple off. They yeah, probably they, switched them. Well, that's... We that's, should have taken a photo before and then identified left and right because I reckon they're switched. Do you think? That would yeah. be so funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what we mean by them being on ice. And I was like, well, what if I if I did it again? Oh, yeah. No, it's not. It's fine. I would. It's Imagine just, just sitting them on ice. I couldn't think I could be an attending person. No, 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 I no, would no. just. No chance. It would be you're so funny. I'd gag. 
you from this week, that would be me <laughs> in the bin. I wanted to see like the tissue that he took off, but they don't do that anymore. Well, they don't do that ever, I don't think. Anymore. <laughs> Stop doing days. it. <laughs> oh, fucking back in the day, they would have. <laughs> yeah, they didn't do it. I was like, I was sad. I was so sad. I wanted to see everything. Yeah, right. But okay. No. Okay. Yeah. It well, that's great. it for my questions. I guess we can really? wrap up here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but <laughs> perfect. It's great. No, no, no. I'm kidding. Um, and you've actually influenced quite a few people to have the same surgery. Yeah, hundred percent. I reckon there's at least a couple hundred. Okay. Well. <laughs> Maybe in your DMs and oh, stuff, yeah. but I mean like immediate people that we know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, totally. Yeah. I made my mum do it. I made my friend do it. Can you not say made? You didn't make them uh, do it. Yeah, pretty much pushed mum into the appointment, but <laughs> she is so happy about it. Yeah. She would like... Your mum was quite similar to you. Yeah, exactly the same. And like like it didn't really, it didn't fix her back, but it relieved pressure mm-hmm. and made her like be able to dress differently. And it's like yeah. Yeah. 100%. And like my my friend wanted to do it. And I was like, yep, like this is the guy I went to. And she went through with it. She's fucking amazing. Like everyone is so happy with it. And I just like, it, I would literally promote it to anybody. I would be there. I'm jealous that it was not me. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Doing it again. Yeah. Yeah. So you would highly recommend it for other people wanting to do it? That's your take on it? 100%. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There's no, like, there's there's literally n- no downside. Yeah. Like, th- people are like, oh, what about the scarring? No There's downside. no downside. Fuck, there isn't. <laughs> Bro, it's a shit. Like, they're so bad. They're so bad. I hate them. <laughs> but that's your view. <laughs> yeah, 100%. So you can't say that there's no downside. Well, no. No, there's not. It's so bad. But for someone else. Yeah, I, so I get it. Yeah, no, I get it. I just don't, I, yeah, for me, I would never, I would never... I couldn't want to be given. Oh, fuck that. Mm-hmm. But only because I've been on both sides now. Like I was like, it was like I was invited to like small titty group and then I got kicked out when I had a baby. <laughs> it's so sad. And I want to go back now. <laughs> it's just so sad. Um, so I've been on both. I get it. I get both sides. Did you ever have any worries? You know what I mean? Like obviously you've spoken very positively about the experience and maybe you're a happy person. So I think people like quite take you very literally. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like they're like the stitch thing and then the yeah, extra yeah, four yeah. weeks. That's not that's a grind. That wasn't exactly that was fun. Yeah. So like did you throughout the like initially starting it and then uh, like post, did you have any concerns about the surgery or like results or or no, anything? I think there's a lot of things that like when when I woke up, like I I remember waking up and like looking down and being like, fuck yeah. Like I was so <laughs> pumped. But there, there is people that look down and think, oh my God, this is the wrong decision. I've just fucked my whole body. Like mm-hmm. there is people that think that. Um, but I had, I had, didn't have any of that. Like I didn't yeah. think about that because I was like, I, I don't know why, what I was thinking, but I really didn't think. I was just like, no, nah, just do it. Like I'm happy. I'm happy to, happy to go. Like, yeah. but I think it's, it's a huge decision that I did get a bit scared when I opened the wound though. Like I was a bit like, mm. that's not funny. And it, it was so small and then it went bigger. I reckon it was like and there was half a, a hole. Half a yeah. five cent. I've got a photo if you want to put it in the video. Oh, it's yuck. disgusting. Um, it's like, it was like half a five cent piece and then it went to a five cent piece. And then I reckon it went a little bit bigger and then it went like... It, Which you would think yeah. is quite small, but when you think of an open wound open in your wound body, that's fi- yeah. pretty big. Yeah, it was, just, it was just annoying. Like that was just frustrating. And mm-hmm. then, but then... Thinking about it now, having a toddler Mm -hmm. would be very different doing it now. Yes. Because you couldn't do any heavy lifting for six weeks. No. So they'd they'd be like, no lifting Gigi, no lifting her into her chair or out of her cot in it. Like nothing. Like you can't do that. Like you can, I don't know how people would do it without like 24 hour help. Do you know what I mean? If you're even, even like you, like remember how you had to wash my hair and shit? Like there's, there's so much like that you need straight after within the week after and the second week that having a toddler would be like a whole new ball game. There is a lot that goes into it. Yeah. In the recovery, I mean. Yeah. Because was... you, yeah, you probably underestimate how much movement comes from your chest. Yeah. Just, just with your arms yeah. and your hands, yeah. just picking up and lifting things. But even at the gym, like I think for the biggest change was gym mm-hmm. because I would have to wear like two sports bras or yeah. like I would wear baggy tees like I do now because I'd, I'd be too embarrassed at the gym. Like it just, I felt like I was just in people's faces and I was like, well, which I wasn't, but you just feel uncomfortable within your own body like doing that. And then like doing a push up, like, man, I wasn't even halfway down my tits on the floor. So it was really annoying. Like I couldn't work out in certain ways. So I was like, this is just frustrating. So like. That's just a normal day for me. Yeah, <laughs> for you. <laughs> that's all right. My love, I love you. The way you look like <laughs> 
I yeah, I just didn't like I just didn't like that. And I didn't like the like the uncomfortableness and yuck. But after mm-hmm. it was like the best because I felt like I just was f- like almost like freed. Mm. It sounds so silly, but I feel like there's a lot of people who feel that who would feel the same. Oh fuck, you're gonna joke, you're gonna make now. What? No <laughs> jokes. <laughs> I see your little beady eyes. I'm like, mm, no, no jokes. You. I have um randomly a bunch of questions from people. Hang on. Oh yeah, you still you still interviewing me? Are you? I asked the questions. Okay, sorry, Captain. Let's go. Okay, what questions do you have? <laughs> <laughs> um, there's actually. Do you want? To, would you like to read them? I Captain? would actually. All right, here yeah, we go. Because that's Mitch is reading my Instagram. That's what we're um, doing. My I asked a question poll because there's like heaps of people who actually want to know a lot more about it, and I guess like specific mm. questions. Yeah, I can obviously go broad, and I'm obviously pro, but there might be like little things that I'm missing. Yep. Were you sick of being called Tits McGee? That is not a question. <laughs> <laughs> yes, by you. I was I'm, I'm very sick of being called Tits McGee. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. All right. This is, these are actually great questions. Perfect. We'll, Would, do, we'll do like rapid fire. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you could just be quick with your responses. Sorry, yep, yep. Did you lose full sensation or some sensitivity in your nipples after they'd been sitting on ice? <laughs> okay, the... <laughs> The later half of that question was a lie. <laughs> the first half, uh, yes, but I got it back. Like, yes, I, I actually couldn't feel anything for a long time. And then I only felt one. That was real lopsided. But then I now I'm fine. I think it's, yeah, both fine. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> would you do it? Well, would you do it before having kids? You did do it before having kids. So I'm so, du- I'm so, I'm so double two-sided on this. Like, What do you mean? Like, I, I love that I did it but I'm frustrated that I'll have to do it again. Do you know what I mean? Like I, I, yeah, I okay. absolutely wouldn't change the way I did it because I think that it like legitimately, it made me like change as a human. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And it sounds so silly, but it did. Mm-hmm. And I, that's, I think that's what like led me into the hot, like our work and whatever yeah. we did, like that was amazing then and there. So like served its purpose for me for like to like, I don't know if I can bring me back to life if you want to say that. Yeah. But that, but I am frustrated that like having a kid, mm-hmm. Now I have to feel like I have to do it again. And so for some people, they don't grow back. For me, they they haven't grown back fully. Mm-hmm. But I'd still, I'm like, yeah, I don't gotcha. like, I'm still not invited back into the party. Do you yeah. know what I mean? So okay. that's where I'm at. Um, with the surgery as well, do they lift as well? And what is the recommended sizing to go to go down? Like how many? Uh, they they uh, they have to lift. I think. Like I I assume because I feel like they they can't just take it and like leave you down there. So like they, they kind of like lift yeah. and put it all together. I, so they would, I think. I assume take from the bottom. Yeah. They take from, they took from the bottom from me. So I'm yeah. assuming they had to, they basically, if they resize your, like your nipples to like resize to your new size, it's very like. They just trim the They just yeah, trim the edges. Yeah. <laughs> trim the edges with a, with a knife. One of those like little, what are they called? It's daily knives around the edge. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> they do that. So they, they, yeah, they will lift. Um, The amount you go down, I think it's, your choice, I think. Yeah. But I don't know if you could, I I'm not, I don't know. I'm not a hundred percent. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a hundred percent a doctor. <laughs> I'm not any percent a doctor. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think there is a, an amount that you can like the specifics. I think it's just by choice. Yeah. And I think there's a pretty obvious one, but do you feel a difference in posture when driving, sitting up, sitting at your desk, standing like everyday life? A hundred percent. Yeah. Definitely. Like they literally, when I say it makes you feel free, it's not like I'm like fucking, I don't know, <laughs> jumping in a field or something. Like, do you know what I mean? It makes you feel like you can breathe. Like you can actually like sit up and breathe yeah. and not have to like not have to feel like your neck is going to fall. What the fuck are you like? <laughs> I'm just going to say back crack usually does that for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, good on you. But yeah, that's what I mean because you feel like you can legitimately just breathe a little bit better. And that for that, that then goes into posture and everything else. Did you know, this is a good one actually. Did you know that you wouldn't be able to breastfeed? Um, no. So they said, he said to me 50, 50, like mm-hmm. you, there's a 50% chance you will and 50% chance you won't. Um, and it's like, if you can, you can, if you can't like don't, ex- he basically said, don't expect it, mm-hmm. but if you can, great. And then he, he just had a, um, a, he had just had a person that was, um, had a reduction and was pregnant and she could, she could fully yeah. breastfeed. And she yeah. was like, so he told me those kind of stories. Then he told me stories that like people absolutely couldn't like, I got a tiny bit out, a tiny bit, like, yeah. But then again, we the were under a lot of but we were under a lot of stress at the time. So who knows if that was because mm. of that or that was because like we don't know. Yeah. So like. And then I started lactating. It was yeah, all kinds of weird. Yeah. And then, then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> it actually 
talk so much shit. <laughs> um, this is probably a really good one. If if so, like someone's asking, basically, I assume that they would like to go and get one. Will they make you lose weight before getting a breast reduction? Um, I don't think they like were like yeah, you need to lose twenty kilos, blah blah blah. But I don't mm-hmm. think I don't know if people they do that. They didn't do that for me, but I don't know if they like for me now. Like I wouldn't want to be at like, and obviously this is a sensitive topic, but I wouldn't want to be at a weight that I'm not happy at. Then have my boobs yeah, done, and then then like you know it might they might grow grow back over time, and you're still not happy with where you are. So like, I'd get yourself to a point where you're feeling happy, you're feeling confident, and then then from there it's only it's just a bonus. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't think they would make you do it, but I think it's probably in best interest mm-hmm. too. I'm not hundred percent sure, but they yeah. Yeah, and like pregnancy or childbirth, if you were to gain weight, let's say, would your do you think your breasts would grow back to size as well? I think it's like much the same. It, it much the same, different per, like person to person. Like yeah. mine haven't, mine have grown back. They sit still really nicely. Mm-hmm. They've just because so it's definitely a difference. But I don't know. Just depends on the person. Like one of my friends had got one, had a baby, mm-hmm. fine. Yeah. Other friend got one, had a baby, had to get it done again. So yeah. it's like it's person to person. Yeah. And I know you've already answered this to a degree. Well, you know you have. But obviously your boobs have changed since pregnancy. So someone is wanting to get it done, but they're thinking that they should wait until they finished having kids. What would be your take on on that? Yeah, just finish just just and I like yeah. f- as frustrating as it is, just wait. Because mm. I, that's what I'm I'm doing like right now. Like I literally said to Mitch, I was like, I only as soon as <laughs> the next baby comes out and we decide no more kids, I'm booking in. Like then I'm I'm done. Like I'm absolutely booking in then. But like mm-hmm. and that that's probably gonna be five years away. Cause you wanna be able to like and you're gonna have you be pregnant, yeah. have the baby for a bit, be okay, get yourself yeah. to be where you want to be, and then like be be okay yeah. now because you don't want a newborn while you're ha- having a reduction. So you want at least no, a no year, or a year yeah. and a half. So it's yeah. gonna be a while away. So like I'm sad it's gonna be that long, mm-hmm. but like yeah, just I'd wait. And I'd wait. you obviously said that you skimmed over a lot of the research, or you like maybe not naive, but like you just it was a very quick process for you, three 100%. weeks. Yeah, for anyone wanting to do it or looking into it what type of research would you recommend that they do? Or like yeah. background kind of? I don't know. I think it's definitely like going in and speaking to like a few different surgeons. I really yeah. liked mine. I would mm-hmm. go back to him within two seconds. Yeah. I think that like finding someone that you're comfortable with and finding someone who's done it before, or like obviously done it before, but is confident in that and confident yeah. in you and your body and just gives you like confidence like as like to be by your bedside and do that because it yeah. is a cosmetic procedure at the end mm-hmm. of the day. So like it's mm-hmm. you want someone who's like, going to be good and going to be thorough. But yeah. then also like ask questions because I asked yeah. nothing. Like I <laughs> I remember sitting there and he, I was in hospital and I was like in my gown and he was drawing all over me just as I was about to go in. And I thought to myself, oh my God, he's going to put my fucking nipples on a B cup. <laughs> I was dying. I thought no fucking way. But I, I was too scared to ask him if that's what he did. You wouldn't believe how quickly when I woke up, I <laughs> ripped my top down. So I was like, oh, perfect. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> it's all good. I don't need to go back in. <laughs> but like, that's how naive I was. I didn't even ask that question. So like, ask the question. Yeah. They might seem so stupid yeah. or so silly. Or like, But they like, you don't know. You don't no, know how the surgery is performed right. or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Um, and ask like about, about scar treatment, post scar treatment, like all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you laughing? I was just thinking about something I said before that was funny. <laughs> You're just a funny guy. That's it. But I, yeah, I think, do you know the one question that I always, always get or, or mm. like the one comment yeah. is, oh, poor Mitch. Yeah. That does my fucking head. If you could send me presents, that would be great. <laughs> Shut up, <laughs> you dickhead. <laughs> you didn't even say anything. I will start a GoFundMe no, if you guys would like to fund me. <laughs> Shut up. You didn't even say anything to me. Well, what am I going to say? You're just, just happy guy. I didn't, no, yeah, I don't really care, to be honest. You were like, absolutely. I was like, you, okay. You fuck. do what you want to do. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's not, I don't have a silk back. Yeah. I mean, I do today, yeah. but <laughs> today, <laughs> that today aged well. <laughs> um, yeah. No, it was, I think that's the thing, though. I think a lot of people maybe misunderstand and think it's more cosmetic mm. than medical, where it's like you were really struggling with your back and you, yes, knew that it wasn't going to fix anything straight away, but just to be able to fix your posture or be able to go to the gym and then re- rehab your back properly mm-hmm. was a big thing for you. So 
yeah, like I'm not going to stand in the way of a medical issue. That's Sorry. fucking ridiculous. <laughs> what about my Botox? But still, send me my presents. forehead. <laughs> <laughs> what about my Botox. I really, yeah, no, never mind. Uh, I want to be fucking frozen. Yeah. Like anyway, this. moving on. <laughs> we'll get some brain cells uh, back. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I well, my thing's running out. Can you see that? Can you see that? Oh no. Well, yeah, shut okay, up. Okay, I'm raising my eyebrows, and it's not working, <laughs> which means it's still working. <laughs> That's You've a, lost that's the plot. Perfect. Anyway, back to feeling sorry for me. Yeah. What What did you do for me? Nothing. What? That's, that's the whole point. What? But I, I'm like, <laughs> I am, I'm glad <laughs> that you didn't say anything to me. Like, like I feel like it was such a fucking annoyance. We'd be like, hey, Mitch, I was like, oh, shut up. Yeah. Poor me. I'm the one who's sad and broken. You seem to say here. poor me a lot. <laughs> yeah, poor you me. said it last week. Yeah. What for was last week? For Gigi. What was Gigi? About the rent thing. No, that was ridiculous. <laughs> and do you know how many people agreed with me? Mm. There were so many. And then there was people like, Where? teaches them things. I was like, oh, shut up. I didn't, I didn't see <laughs> no, many agreeing. <laughs> no, but I was like, I do agree. Definitely teaches them yeah. things. But at the same time, that's my baby. That's that, my yeah, girl. No, I agree. I agree. So, yeah, no, I didn't really care I'm, to answer the question. Uh, like, I've, so I, I was like super pumped to have surgery, right? Like, I couldn't fucking wait. I was like ready to go. And then when we got there, I was, remember you t- said, yeah, I was bawling my eyes out and I was like this is bad this is bad this is bad this is like too quick and he was like see you're rolling me down the thing I was like oh like waving to him um but I've like I think that I was like because I've had my like wisdom teeth out and like all that kind of stuff I was fine Mitch has a a surgery story that he was not ready for Uh, when mm. one night I will tell this story and then we can then we can just keep going whatever happens happens you know (laughs) this is what we do with this is what I mean chaos yeah. um mitch one night was on the couch and he was like Leah, well, yeah, my love my stomach hurts and i was like i don't speak like this. yeah he did he did he said that exact right it's what he said he said excuse me my stomach hurts and i said how about you have a panadol and shut up <laughs> and that's always it. And i was like you need to just i was like have you had neurofen have you panadol have you had water blah, blah, blah. and he was just like yeah but like it's really sore and i was like well like i don't know like what what can we what can we do like and then and he was like oh nothing and just sat there and sat there and sat there for like couple of hours while we were watching TV on the couch, whatever. And it was getting like progressively worse. And I was like, he kept being like moving and like up and to uh, back and from the toilet. And it's like, it just really hurts. I don't know what to do. And I was like, well, can you sleep on it? No. I was like, let's call a low come out. Cause it was like 10 o'clock at night. Yeah. I think 10 so. o'clock at night. Yeah. And he was like, I just, it's really sore. And he just kept saying it. I was like, take a fucking pat it on. Shut up. <laughs> but then locum comes out, takes one look at him, touches his stomach and was like, get to the hospital right now. And I, I was like, what? Oh no. <laughs> and I felt so guilty. <laughs> so I rush him down there. He's vomiting in a bag. He ends up being like, you actually turned quite quickly from like from the as you we were going. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like doing the speed limit down um, <laughs> McGill Road <laughs> <laughs> trying to get to the hospital because he was like, what the fuck? What the fuck? It he, got he, really he was bad. Really, really as sore. soon as we got in the car. Yeah. I was actually thinking about this the other day. Mm. It was just painful to sit on yeah. or lay. Yeah. For those four hours or whatever it was, but then when we got in the car, you got like mm. I was getting the shakes, I was vomiting, like yeah. I was sweating. It was yeah, yeah. And he said, "So we got we get to the hospital, and the triage nurse, oh. who I would say it was Miss Trunchable, she was my god. I love nurses, but this lady, I love nurses, but this lady I have was nothing me. but appreciation yeah. for nurses. She was not having a good night. Male, we went to the wrong hospital. Firstly, yeah. so we went to a on a Saturday night at Saturday 11 night. PM. Public hospital. We went to the Royal Adelaide. Yeah. Yeah. Have Which you been drinking? Normal. Yeah. Hun, no. And I was vomiting. Yeah. And she's like, mm. Do you do drugs? She did not believe me yeah. at all. I was like, she's, mate. Yeah. Do you do drugs? No. Are you sure you haven't been drinking? Uh, that guy fucking has. No, he has not. He's um, And I was trying to talk because he couldn't speak. I was like, oh, he's, he's and she's like, I need him to talk. I was like, he's in his, like, in, in a bag vomiting. And I was like, uh, like she goes, I think it's just a tummy ache. So just have a seat. Sits him down. I reckon we were there for like, I reckon at 2, 1.30 or something like that. It was that. hours. It and was I like was getting hours. worse. And he kept filling up sick bags, like filling up more and more sick bags. And like, he's a loud vomiter. And he was like, like kept, kept like just dry reaching to this bag. And he was like on the floor. And they finally took him. And he had uh, emergency appendicitis surgery. <laughs> 
was like, oh, that's not good. Mm. <laughs> but he literally. My appendix didn't burst, but it was, it was, it on was the like, verge of bursting. Oh, yeah, it was, yeah, it was getting there. And he goes, I literally, Mitch was laying on the table. He had never had had pain, like never had been put to sleep. Pain never medication. No. Like never had anything other than a pad at all. never like, been to hospital. Yeah, nothing, nothing. So he was laying down and his nurse comes Fair in. question. No, this, and he Very was on, he was on so much pain medication. Like I remember he laid, da- laid down because they had to get him into one room. Then they had to transfer him into another room called like a pain something room because, and another nurse had to give him heavier drugs because it wasn't working because of like, I don't know, he was in so much pain. So he laid down. He looked over at me and goes, this is good stuff. <laughs> I, was like, I don't know what he got given, but it was like this. I, I just I, went straight like to sleep. It. Yeah. yeah. And then this this lady comes in and she, she she's a full surgeon, like full get up. Like she is educated <laughs> to the nines. She walks in, she goes, look, like, I think it's like, I think it's appendicitis. Like you're, it's probably going to like, you know, we're just keeping you comfortable right now. But as soon as the pain wears off, it's probably going to, you know, turn for the worst, blah, blah, blah. We need to prep you for surgery and you need to get in like ASAP. And what did he say? He, he I goes, said, so you're, I, no, no, you're, no, 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 no. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. My first question was, can we not do a scan or something to determine if my append- it is my appendix? Yeah. And she goes, no, the only way to tell with appendicitis is to have surgery. Yeah. And I said, so you're telling me with all this bloody technology that we have in the world, like we're making an educated yeah, guess like, to have surgery. Why, why am I just like, mm-hmm. you know what? Fair question, fair question. But <laughs> it's fair. At the same time, this is Mitch's. You're only me. <laughs> and if, and if you get, you're making an, what are you making an educated guess or something? <laughs> Fucking no, high on whatever he was. And I was going, Mitch, shut up. Like, because I was like, this is the lady who's going to cut you open. <laughs> I'd be the, I'd be quiet and just start nodding your head. <laughs> just shut the fuck up. He was like, I just don't get it. I just, whatever, man. I just didn't get it. Like, just <laughs> laying back. I just, I just would I assume a scan would do, be fine, but whatever. Like, you just do you. <laughs> Fully sleep. He was so mad about that it. That is not what he said. He was fuming. But then he had to, um, once he had, he went in and then he got, you got bumped until like 8 a.m. that morning or 9 no, a.m. No, later. Morning, so I was meant, first surgery is 8 a.m. Yeah. Was that? Oh, and because it didn't rupture or burst, yeah. or whatever you want to call it, someone, <laughs> some motherfucker, mm. decided to burst theirs yeah. <laughs> before me and got rushed straight in. So they took yeah. the 8 a.m. And because I was comfortable on meds, I think I got done it. My surgery was 10 a.m. Yeah. That morning. Um, and then I stayed the night. Yeah. That night, and then yeah. went home the next day. Yeah, but, but remember, what a fuckery. out of, coming out of, like so, Mitch was meant to be like say out of recovery at like twelve o'clock or whatever it was. I don't oh. know what it was. It was five p.m. and I was like, I hadn't slept in like that whole day. The next day, and like I hadn't slept in probably I reckon it was thirty something hours. I hadn't slept, and I was like sitting in the car park, being like, <laughs> like why is not nothing happening? I get up to the stairs. And I said to this like this nurse, I don't. She probably was a fucking cleaner. I don't, at, that, at that point, I was like, "Excuse me, <laughs> like, oh, where is Mitch?" And now she was like, "Oh, I think that he might have had a few complications." And I was like, "I fucking beg your pardon." She goes, "Nothing bad. I just, um, I'll just grab someone to give you a call." And I was like, mm, "Panic, full on. I, you could have taken me into the fucking surgery room at that point." I was f- so upset. And the lady comes in and she goes, oh, "Look, like." I think some. I don't know what happened. This is this is not a, like a medical thing, but like when they took the tubes out your throat. Closed up and whatever, and you'd like. I think I choked on the. Yeah, whatever, the whatever tube happened when they took it out. As he was like asleep, so then they, I don't know what happened. Anyway, that made them keep you in recovery for a little bit longer or whatever it was. Correct, yeah. But then <laughs> Mitch woke up in recovery, and the the nurse, what did she say? She said that she's basically said you were on drugs or something like that. No, Do you take so, drugs? So it was that, um, not the drugs thing, the throat thing. Yeah. So I had to stay there for a bit longer. And then I looked up at the clock and it was 4.30 when I had woken up. And I was like, is it 4.30? And the lady was like, yeah, my heart rate went yeah. through the roof. Because <laughs> I didn't have my phone or anything. I was like, has anyone called Leah, like my, my partner? And they were like, no. And I was like, mate, she be freaking. <laughs> I went into I surgery, went- like into the room at 9 a.m. And then obviously had surgery at 10. I was like, you're kidding. Someone needs to call it. And then like my heart rate was going yeah. up. So then... It was at like one twenty something, which is huge for resting. Um, so then I had to sit there and try and calm down <laughs> because then they wouldn't let me out because my heart rate was so high and they weren't going to call Leah until I was out of recovery yeah. and back to my room. So I was like, this is like a fucking endless cycle. Yeah, and, and the nice lady nurse. was being 
what yeah so my heart rate was going up and the lady's like are you sure you don't do drugs and I was like <laughs> mate just get me my phone honestly and this will be sorted but yeah I had to try and get my heart rate below 100 which was proving very difficult when people were yelling at yeah, me yeah legit- <laughs> Mitch but was there like, was there was just I just, was just that one lady that one lady that was it was almost like the same lady yeah. but then, then all the other nurses were when they finally gave you your phone back you FaceTimed me and you were talking to me like I'm good I'm good and then you just like show me the phone this is <laughs> poor doctor that like, this little nurse guy that was and he was like hello and I was like <laughs> Hi, I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad everything's fine. <laughs> she was like, yeah, yeah, she, he's, he's, all, he's all good. Like, all, all, all's fine. Then you, you hung up on me and I was like, all right, like, mm. now I'm fucking sorted. Yeah, one lady was great. I asked the other, all the other nurses were amazing. Yeah. They went and got my bag of things yeah, yeah, which yeah, had yeah. my phone in it. Yeah. But yeah, this one lady just thought I was on drugs because my heart rate was high <laughs> and I just wanted my, just my wanted phone. <laughs> so. What an unreal, what an unreal I'm just a person that, hours. I'm very simple. Yeah. And I keep to myself. But when you take away my shit, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't like it. That so so I just funny. don't like not being in control. So hospital for me is very challenging. It's a, it's a tricky one. Because it's like, no, you're staying the night. I'm like, yeah, but like, you're not my dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who are but you? Do you know what I mean? Like, it, yeah. So it's just, yeah, I don't, don't like that. Was, that was insane. That, though. that was probably the worst. Like The recovery was... Yeah. Yeah, your recovery was shit. Your recovery was like six weeks, and but you couldn't get out of bed for the first two. It was the like first full week or two. I couldn't keyhole whatever. Yeah, it was. even that's it's like keyhole surgery in three spots, like belly button, and then just below. It's again mm. like the chest thing. You don't realize how much your torso or stomach yeah. contributes to walking, bending yeah. over, picking up things. Like it's yeah, it's a lot of pain. Yeah. So I, like again, same as yours, but six weeks of no, no, nothing. And then it took me a long time because I was, at the time, very much into the gym, but mm. it really took me a long time to get back into the gym. I want to say months. like I don't think it's months. I think it was like six. a good year. Like as in like to properly be like, yep, I can get back, back to in. where like, I was. Yeah. yeah. Like almost a year of, yeah, it was a nightmare. That's, but yeah, no, no good. There you go. I love that. Appendicitis. A, appendici- yeah. It's quite rare, but. But here we are. Here, here we are. I like like getting back into the gym. I now I'm now finding it not hard, but like more annoying. And I'm like, I just come on, bring on like five years. Do you know? Just get it I'm making this up, but I think appendicitis happens in one in every twenty males. Really. And like one in every thirty or forty females. So really. It's, not, it's it's common then. Is that common? Maybe is not. It? Like, sort of. I don't know. Common. One in common twenty is not that bad. It's not that bad. Did I make that up? Probably. I feel like it's one in like 200 or something like that. But I mean, No, I think for males it's one in 20. That's unreal. Is an appendix something that you don't need? Is that right? Well, they I'm don't still know. going strong. I just have a slight limp, but yeah. that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, back hurts. <laughs> I don't have a limp. Yeah, no, you don't need your appendix. That's just weird. I've What's it proved for? the doubt is wrong. <laughs> you <know> that, <laughs> have you seen that TikTok thing? That's none of my business. Appendix, none of my business. Have I don't you guys have seen an appendix. That? No one's on TikTok like I am. You guys need to just start scrolling, you know? It's called it's called none of my business. And you say things that you want nothing to do with. Yeah, I don't well, I don't need my appendix. You do say I? appendix, nothing, none Life's of my business. I've been good without him. No. <laughs> he made me vomit. <laughs> but the whole point of it is you say appendix, none of my business. Because no. you, you don't want anything to do with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's TikTok vibe. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. Like people who play cricket, mm. none of my business. Do you know what I mean? Do you get do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. 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 Well, I said mine. Appendix. <laughs> <laughs> give me, give me, give me a couple more. Give me a couple more. I'll give you another one. What's in meat pies? None of my business. I don't anything to do with it. Wait. So how do you do it? You say like you say something, and you oh, say okay. it's none of my business. Mm. People, people that like lemon. That's none of my business. <laughs> you like lemon? <laughs> what the? Fuck? Nah, I don't. I don't. You don't like lemon nah. now? Is that a new thing? Yeah. Cool. Since my appendix. You're a fuck it. <laughs> what? what? Come at me. <laughs> it's none of my business. I love, I love, I love, I love saying none of my business. Like, like what's hot dogs made out of? None of my business. I don't well, what does that it. imply? I don't want to know about it, but I still eat it. Yeah, okay. You I was going to say, because you love a good hot dog. Oh, yeah. It's none of my business, though. Yeah, okay. Like salami. So I was just going, none of my business. Oh, absolutely none of my business. But, Cabana, stay away from none me. None of my business. <laughs> I don't want to know. Ca- yeah, what's in Cabana? Cabana or does Stevie Wonder? <laughs> I'm Stevie Wonder when it comes to salami. I don't want anything to do with it, but everything oh, to do with no. it. Oh, <laughs> no. That's very funny. Um, you, you need to get on TikTok more. Yeah, it's too much. It's just too time consuming. And to be honest, right now, there's a lot going on on Netflix that I really just need to. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why are you laughing? <laughs> just 
There is. Yeah, but like it's there is, <sighs> and I need to pay better attention to it. What, what, I don't what are you frothing around? What are you frothing? Okay, it's not about people <laughs> dancing. <laughs> What's it about? People Maybe. fucking doing duos. Hi, you sound today like you're like is 80 my years old. makeup tutorial. Yeah. Do you know how helpful and they are? Do you just lick your eyebrow? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm not interested. Okay, well, what if it's got F1 cars everywhere? F- F1, none of my fucking business. Yeah, anyway, moving on. <laughs> um, what's Yeah, what's good? Okay, the Lincoln lawyer. Great. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. Oh, crack your thumb. Oy. Uh, Blacklist, new season. I can't believe that came out. We weren't even ready for that. We were like no, not that, prepared. See, and see it's, what and I mean? it's been way better. See, I wasn't ready. Season. I wasn't ready, so I need to catch up. And then there's just, I think there's a lot of good movies coming out. I haven't even had chance to skim over the movie section yet. <laughs> you sound like, you sound like you're like, you've full taken on dad mode. Oh, I'll just get it. I'll get it. What movies are on If here? you, honestly, if I could have any birthday present, it would be like a cinema recliner chair. Like I'm, yeah. yeah, you know what? When we oh. Renault, when we Renault, when we Renault, yeah, because we're gonna Renault eventually. Mm-hmm. We're eventually when we yeah. can be bothered. Yeah, um, we're gonna get Just two side get, by sides, oh. and then we're, then what we're gonna do is gonna have like like a window <laughs> thing, and it's gonna <laughs> and it's gonna, there's gonna be a window that goes up between me and you, and there's gonna be a split in the TV that I can watch whatever I want to watch, and you can, and then we can just like yeah. knock knock. Yeah, I wasn't going to go that far. I just wanted no, the chair, but that's all no, right. I'll do, yeah. Let's go whole long yards. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I'm all for it. And then I also really want to watch the Inspired Unemployed TV yes. show that we haven't seen yet, yes. but the clips look hilarious. No, like, they make me feel sick. <laughs> like, no. I think they're the best. They are but so I'm like, funny. The one that, went, that he was like, do you need your mum? <laughs> and the lady was like, what? <laughs> and trying to get her groceries. Do I need my mum? <laughs> she was like, I'm, I'm not lost. Like, I'm, I'm got a lost child in our two. <laughs> yeah. He was like, what the fuck? Makes me like. That is hilarious. Makes my hair stick out of the back. No. Of the, like, I like, have such admiration for that because I like to think I'm a very funny person. You are hilarious. But there's no way that I could do that prank and keep a straight face. Like the yeah, fact I that he could say, do, do you need your mum? Yeah, just paging. Uh, we've got a lost child, and I'd I'd be pissing myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, and because he, I reckon. Well, I think he can hear them in his yeah, ear, yeah, right? No, so no, like, he you can. can hear them pissing themselves yeah. laughing. So like, I don't get how you. Yeah, you and do then that. when they they did the electricity shock on the other guy, that like, was... mate, I'd be pissing myself <laughs> laughing. I so thought... for anyone who hasn't watched it, it's inspired. Uh, no, the in, inspired, inspired unemployed. unemployed. Yeah, um, and they've got a new show, and they have done like little clips, like. It's, it's it reminds me, I again haven't watched it yet, but from the clips I've seen on Instagram, reminds me of a lot of Thank God You're Here. Yeah, yeah, Just yeah, a big comedy just, yeah. skit. Like it's It's great. Great. It is such, it's good value in like in a time. <laughs> I love the one where they've got the potato at the register. What, what? <laughs> the potato. And then they go, all right, pretend that, because they're in Oh, yeah, pretend they, go, they don't know what it pretend is. Pretend you've yeah. never seen that before. <laughs> and then they all come out and every one of them like starts kissing. Yeah. <laughs> It's so, so stupid, but so funny. Yeah, if you want to, if you want to laugh, like you, you need to go oh, and watch. Mate. Just even just watch the skits on on, on Instagram. It's so funny. They're I such actually think growing value. up, thank God you're here was my favorite show. I don't rem- like. I don't really remember it's it. Fucking gold. You, well, you're not very good at it. I am great at it. <laughs> it's not, but the the point is not to be funny. It's to it's just like impromptu acting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I like I we used to do oh, it in you, drama. So you have watched it. Yeah, I used to do it in my freaking drama class. Well, now you want to participate? <laughs> no, I don't want to participate. I I actually hated it. I hated it because I always would be so embarrassed if people didn't like my ideas. Yeah, that was my biggest like fear mm. when I walk in. But yeah. like the one thing I remember in drama classes, we walked in the front doors. And mm-hmm. I actually spoke to the girl like that who did this the other day, and it made me laugh. I still remember it. It was her turn mm-hmm. and she walked into the double doors and she started screaming and then she started pretending she was like, giving birth. And then <laughs> everyone just jumped in. Everyone she was just sitting there going, just screaming and with her legs. Everyone that's a great like, idea. It was so funny. You have to, that's a really good one. Just Ten fake a medical ago, emergency because yeah. then people have to help. Yeah. And then that, then like the people had to jump in. They were like, okay, like, like now you're starting to push. It's like, I don't fucking want to push. It was, well, I <laughs> yeah, remember right. it too, like a T and we were like, 16 years old. I have no idea what that meant. But like, so fucking funny. I love that. I love a good thing. Well, I think here. I'm going to watch the TV series tonight. <laughs> it's going to be so good. I'm going to be just sitting behind the pillows, just cringing, but also... But you also think it's funny. It's the best. Like, I just don't know how they do it. Like, how they actually physically do it. When that when they told that Dom guy that he has to laugh at everything that the two girls said no, at the table. That like, that's cringy. Sick, but I can imagine those girls are such good... Like, she was like, you're so happy. Like, and he was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, like, she was like, okay, what the fuck? Like, 
too much. <laughs> but see, I appreciate acting or comedy, whatever you want to call it, like that so much more because he can keep a straight face. Hey, what a legend. And still do it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It was like in the other videos that they create, it's all staged, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's all thought out and it's made to be funny, but like to be able to do that yeah. without laughing. Yeah. What a fucking legend. Oh, mate. Anyway. Anyway. Oh, so I think next episode we'll do on the podcast would just be a comedy skit. Yeah, we'll just prank people. I can't keep a can't keep a straight face. We're gonna prank your dad with the premium air tires thing. Oh yeah, he doesn't listen to the podcast. We can tell everybody. He, um, my dad, but dad would be like, oh, okay. What? Or say <laughs> say anything. say you wanted to take his Mustang. Yeah. Oh no, because he'll have it. He and wouldn't even if, let me touch his car. You could say you took the Mustang to fill it up. Is diesel okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he'd have a heart attack. No, because it, but he'd be like, "What the fuck are you touching my car for?" Wait, 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 wait. No, wait. just say you've got an extra jerry can left over, and, and you thought you'd fill up his car, but is diesel okay? <laughs> <laughs> my dad, my dad has a new car, and he, it's the loudest thing. He's cracking sixty soon, and he's got the loudest car on the street, mm. and he thinks it's legit, and it's and. It, you know, power to him because it is pretty cool. <laughs> power to him. It, it is pretty cool. <laughs> but I, yeah, he that car is his prized position. It's a, it's a, what's it called? It's, I'm going to say two seater, but it's, it's got the back, back seats, but it's two door. Yeah. But are we looking for the, he the make let, and model or? No, 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 no. I'm saying, just, I was saying two door. He okay. doesn't actually let anyone in the other side. Like he won't let anyone in the car. He won't put mm. anything in the car. He won't take it anywhere. He just <laughs> washes it all the time. <laughs> so <laughs> I think it's great to, to prank him with that, or we so get it. No, 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 no. We get the, one of those stickers that look like a smash windscreen, and we sticker it onto his front because 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 my dad actually parked into the in the city maybe like a month ago, and someone smashed his windscreen, like just started smashing cars on the side of the road. No, but this requires Happened a video. Like, that's different. I think we got to do something on the pod where we can call him. You know, but imagine like calling him like, "Dad, I'm right outside your car, and I think it got like smashed." And then like he can walk outside of his car, we'll put it on his car, and then we'll come in, <laughs> and then we'll call him. <laughs> It'll it's be. getting to that time. Yeah. yeah. It's got to be great. I think it'll be so fun. We should do it. Mm. Dad doesn't listen to this, so he would have no idea. We'll have better thought ideas when we come back. Oh, okay, you know what? I might do great. That's a bit sad. Well, I hope this um, restoration thing was good. Mm. Uh, hopefully that was helpful. If you have any other questions, let us know. Let me know. Let, let, yeah. let Don't let me know. I won't answer them. Well, you can answer them from your perspective, my love. Mm. Um, YouTube. Under the YouTube, like in the YouTube comments, if you are like, yeah, I'll I'll be looking out for um any questions there. Yeah, but yeah, hopefully this was helpful. I yeah, loved it. and I hope you don't get appendicitis because that sucks. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, that's not good. Anyway, anyways, thanks for listening. Have a fabulous Monday on your drive Monday. to work or to no, maybe not to work at ten a.m. Maybe on a on a brisk walk in the morning. Hope you're having or a, or a, a jog. A jog. Hope you're having a good jog. With y- y- yummy. <laughs> Can you imagine we just someone just made them trip up because <laughs> they just love the word you're wrong. Um, have a great day, guys, and we will see you next Monday. See you next Bye. Week. Bye.